guys, my name is Haley and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a tutorial for how to crochet a chunky blanket, but this time we're going to use a basket weave stitch and this is going to give the blanket a totally different appearance. So let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about this, uh, any suggestions or thoughts, and let's jump right into it. For this blanket, I got eight balls of the Bernat Blanket Big in the color Pink Dust. Hi, editing Haley jumping in to tell you that you are going to need more than 8 balls of yarn. You're going to need somewhere between 11 and 12 if you want a full sized blanket. Just letting you know ahead of time. And we are not going to be using a crochet hook for this pattern, we are going to be using our hands. Because this yarn is huge and I tend to prefer this look with like a looser stitch rather than really tight. But you can always change it up and use a crochet hook that is 25 millimeters uh, as is the recommended for this. So to begin, we are going to do a slip stitch as you usually would for these kinds of projects. So once you made the stitch, so once you've made the slip stitch, make sure that it is wide enough for two of your fingers to go through. If you've watched my other tutorial on how to crochet a chunky blanket to make it a dupe for burnout blanket, um, I'm going to link that in the description box below as well. But this is very similar to that um, in terms of crocheting with our hands. We are going to chain 23 now. So between my two fingers, I'm going to wrap the piece of yarn and pull it through. I'm going to wrap it around and then clamp my fingers down and pull it through. And I'm going to do that 23 times. Okay, so now that we have done all 23 of our chains, you're going to yarn over and we are going to go into the third chain from where we're at. So it's gonna be one, two, three. So yarn over, and we're gonna go into that stitch there. And now we're going to do a regular double crochet as you would. So it's going to look like that. And then you're going to continue double crocheting all the way across your chain. This part is very similar to what we did in the regular chunky blanket tutorial. So this is really hard for me to demonstrate from any other angle <laughs> than this, but we are going to start at the end and crochet up to to be in place of a double crochet over here, right? And then you're going to yarn over and we're gonna pull this stitch forward a bit like that and go through the back. Grab our yarn and do a double crochet. And this is called a front post double crochet. So your first front post double crochet looks like that. And then you do another one right next to it. We're gonna do four total. So I pull this up, go behind it, pull my yarn through, and do a double crochet. And that's what the two of them look like next to each other. Now we'll do a third, go behind, you can see that right, pull the yarn through. We'll do one more. So you have four total of front post double crochets right here. And that's what those four front post double crochets will look like. If you're struggling with this concept, definitely go to the video I've linked down below, which shows you in detail how to do the basket weave stitch. Because that's all we're doing. I'm just showing you how to do it on this big weight seven yarn. So next, we are going to do a back post stitch, which is similar, but instead of bringing our stitches to the front, we're bringing them to the back. You're going to go into the stitch from behind and then go across and pull. You're pulling this yarn kind of across the front like that to do our double crochet so that our stitch is gonna get pushed to the back instead of the front. So these stitches are sticking up and this one's behind. It kind of has a line going across versus this has stitches pulled up to the front. You're going to do that again. We're gonna yarn over, go in through the back, 
go across the front of the stitch and pull our yarn through so that it's gone across the front of the stitch and do our regular double crochet. So you can see these are our front post double crochets. These are the back post double crochets. We're gonna do that again. Yarn over, go into the back, across the front of the stitch, back again, pull this yarn and do our double crochet. So that's what three looks like. Then we're gonna do one more. Yarn over, go to the back of the stitch, pop up through the front, pull that yarn across the front of the yarn and do our double crochet again. So we've got four front post crochets, four back post crochets, and we're gonna continue that pattern. We're gonna do another four in the front, another four in the back. So remember this, we're going from the front through the back of the stitch like we did originally. I'm gonna tuck these ends in once I'm finished the project. So that's what that looks like. Oh, in our last stitch, we are going to do a half double crochet. So yarn over into the stitch right here, pull through, and then pull all the loops through. That is our first row. Now we're going to turn our work so that we're still working right to left. And now you can see on the flip side, we've got back post here, front post here. So we are going to chain up two. And then we're going to do another back post crochet. That's our first back post crochet in this row. We're gonna do another one, so that's this one. We're going into this post now. Yarn over, go through the back and isolate the stitch and pull your yarn through in front of the stitch to do our double crochet. That's what those two back post stitches look like. And you can see sort of two lines forming here. We're gonna do yarn over, isolate the stitch by going in through the back pulling this yarn across the front, double crochet. That is number three. And for number four, find our stitch, go in through the back, isolate the stitch, pull yarn through the front. And that's what that looks like. So then we move on to our front post double crochet. Yarn over, go into the front post here. It's isolated in the front. Pull the yarn through and double crochet as you normally would. And now you can see it kind of shaping up here. This is our back post, this is our front post. And I do another back post for four, front post for four, and then back post. So that is all four back post stitches. We're going to finish with a half double crochet on this end. And that is basically the whole pattern. We are just going to repeat this process over and over again. For row three, we're gonna do a chain up two for our first double crochet over here. And then we are going to do the opposite all the way across. These are front post double crochets, so we're gonna do back post. Then front, then back, then front, then back. We're gonna do four of each. So in these front post double crochets, I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to go in through the back, pull my yarn through and across, 
and double crochet to make it a back post crochet here. Here's number four. So here are four back post double crochets that we've done at the start of row three. Then when we move on to these four back post double crochets from row two, now we're going to go in and do front post double crochets. So pull this stitch up and we're going in from the front. So we have four back post in number three and four front post in row number three. Now we go back to back post crochets. <laughs> And those are our four back post double crochets. And we end with a half double crochet in this last chain here. Oh, hope you can see that. But it's the same thing as last round. So that's what our row three looks like. And then for row four, it's sticking with what we did before. So these are gonna continue to be front post crochets. These are gonna continue to be back post crochets. So for every two rows, you go the same and then you flip them. And that's gonna cre create our basket weave effect. So, as I'm sure editing Haley has already popped in to tell you guys, eight skeins of yarn is not enough to make a full-size blanket, as I found out uh, yesterday when I finished the project. Um, this made a blanket that was about four feet across and three and a half feet tall, and I bought eight skeins of yarn. So, if you wanted to do a full-size blanket, I'd recommend maybe 11 to 12 balls of yarn. Um, but I will say that uh, because the pattern like condenses the yarn so much, this makes a great like weighted blanket. Um, I don't have the, the time or resources to finish this before I wanted to get this video up. Um, but it's still like really cute. You get the idea from here. It's like a little mini blanket right now. So basically what you would do is continue the pattern. It's just... Um, the same thing that I showed you guys repeated over and over again. Either way, I'm still happy with the way that it turned out. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Uh, what would you like to see from me as well? Uh, if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell to find out every time that I post. Make sure to follow all my social media, my Instagram, my TikTok, and my Etsy will be linked in the description box below. And I will see you guys next Sunday at 12. Bye!